Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. Now the title of this video is how to create an explosion. Now this technique can be used for anything, but in this case, I'm gonna be showing you how you can explode some fruit. So before we get into it, smash that subscribe button so you can keep up to date with new content when it's posted. So in my example, I'm gonna be using pieces of fruit to create uh, an explosion or animate an explosion in After Effects. Now we are in After Effects CC. I've dragged my footage onto the timeline and just to play it a little bit to show you what we have here. Now this was filmed at 120 frames per second. The object is currently turning at 10 RPM. So that's 10 revs per minute. So we have a nice slow fluid movement going on here. And what I did was to cut five different pieces of fruit cut it in different shapes so that you know it would even enhance the effect by not having it look like I've duplicated the same piece of fruit so I'm going to start this with five pieces of fruit and they're all filmed in the same manner okay so I've gone ahead and used a simple wire removal tool to get rid of the wire and I'm going to place a card above and, and a link below to a video I've done on a tutorial for that in particular I've also used the key light tool to get rid of the blue background and I'll also drop a card up top to show you guys how you can do that. So this is just to keep this tutorial nice and short. Okay, so now that I've done that, this is what we're left with. We have a transparent background and we have the single piece of fruit just spinning in midair. And that is kind of the first stage of animating this particular part of it. All right, so just to show you the direction of where we are headed with this, we have all the fruit that is currently grouped and we're gonna be using keyframes to move these and adjust these just the way we want it to. But just to give you an idea of where we're gonna go with it, we're gonna have the fruit start in the middle and it's gonna burst and explode outwards like so. So I just have a look on the screen and we have one, two, three, four, five. So we have five different bits of fruit and in this case I've duplicated those five and that's how we end up with 10 and you can duplicate that as many times as you want depending on how many pieces of fruit that you want to end up with and this is why it was important in the beginning to start with a good number at least five six seven eight depending on what you're doing so that it doesn't look repetitive and it looks a little bit more realistic. So just for the sake of clarity, I'm going to just work on one individual slice and show you exactly what is happening. So remember at the very beginning, we had the slice of fruit just rotating along this axis. What we're gonna do now is just introduce another axis of movement. Now, so if I were to add a rotation keyframe just here, so let's add a keyframe and then we can change the angle. So let's say we do a 90 degree angle just to keep it nice and simple. Let's see how that affects this one piece of fruit. So now instead of just moving around from left to right, we also have movement in this plane as well. So it's almost like a, a 3D effect. That is the rotation part of it. And then now what we're going to do is also introduce a keyframe for the positioning. So remember where we're starting, we're starting in the middle. We're starting just there in the middle and we're moving out. So in the middle and we're moving out whilst we are rotating and the fruit is naturally spinning as it was filmed. So we set a position keyframe from the middle and another one to drag it to the left and if I bring everything back in essentially you can see that is what is happening so the keyframe positions for all of these are different to move them from one point to the other and then we have the rotation happening as well as the fruit spinning and it really gives this realistic illusion of you know the items just floating in 3d now if we look on the timeline right here we can see that our keyframes start and end for all of these layers, all of the individual pieces of fruit, they start and end at the same time. And I've added easy ease keyframes to these so that they ease 
to the end of the motion as opposed to stopping abruptly. Okay, so we're gonna kind of leave that here for sake of simplicity and we're gonna head over into a Premiere Pro where we're gonna finesse this a little bit more and show how it can be used practically. But first we would want to export this uh, as a video with a transparent background. So if we hit, go up to composition and add to render queue, so we would change a couple of settings here. So we choose where we wanna save this video and then if we come over here to the output module and we can really dial down the format that we want to export it in. So if we use this in QuickTime and most importantly, the video output has got to be RGB and alpha. Okay, if we wanna have the colors in the video and also have it on a transparent background, we need RGB and alpha, we hit okay. And then you hit the render button and that would render your video. Okay, so now we are in Premiere Pro and we've just dragged that transparent footage into the timeline. And just to show you the transparency, I've added a color mat. And if we just turn that on and off, we can see that this background, let's play that through, is definitely transparent. And this is gonna work for us and make this bit of footage so much more versatile. At this point, if you really wanted to have more fruits in this or more bits of fruits, what you can do is just duplicate this particular layer and you might want to go into the effect controls and just shift the rotation around a little bit so that it takes it out of sync with that maybe just move it across you know and tweak it a little bit so if we play that back we have twice the amount of fruits heading off in slightly different directions. If you wanted to take it a step further, we can also speed ramp this. So I'm going to just nest these two clips and I'm going to apply a speed ramp on here. And to sell the effect of an impact or an explosion, you're going to really need to have this first bit of the motion really fast and then slow down as it gets further out from the blast point. Okay, so that is how that would look. Now, if you wanted to even take it a bit further, you can then add it to either, you know, a dope intro like this or something more useful like this. All right, and just to announce the universal mobile phone cage that I was running for the giveaway. Um, the winner for this one is Lenovs. Send me a message so I can know where to send this. And thank you for everybody else who's commented and followed me on Instagram as part of this giveaway, guys. Really appreciate it. That is it for this video, guys. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.